always see a white shark in the front of the paper and it's always mouth open teeth. That's how a white shark is portrayed in the media. It's a killer, it's a mindless killer. It's always guts, it's always teeth, it's always front page of the headlines. The media will, in the end, kill a white shark, or is killing the white shark, so they say. Most people only have the knowledge that comes through, you know, reading the newspapers, and then that's normally about shark attacks and all the negative things that happen about it. It's all fine and very well seeing it on TV or Jaws, etc. You get a very false misinterpretation sometimes from what these sharks really are. But this is actually a very calm creature. Yes, it attacks and it hunts when it needs to. Yet shark will generally not attack a human, and we've seen this time and time again. And this is one thing that we've seen here in Cape Town. A lot of the surface realise that we're not part of their food chain. I've never seen anything like that, and I could not believe the raw power, but it was awesome and, and the true sense of, of the word awe. Because you've been programmed to think of them in a negative way, to only think about them, you know, biting people and, you know, their teeth, and it's that disconnect that you've actually had that becomes more of a connection. It's going to have to start off from a young age group. It's going to be very hard. I think it's probably going to be generations because it's, it's going to be hard to sell a message that people don't want to hear. I think fear is healthy. I think that what we need to get over is those knee-jerk reactions to dealing with that fear. A lot of people uh, are scared of white sharks, but you can't live your life in fear. You know, you got to go out there, enjoy it, and face it. It's a magical place, and when I go out there, I also always realise how old this place is too. It's been there for millions of years. And this interaction that's happening between the sharks and the seals has happened there for countless years before us. Now people have a fear, but it's 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 a fear of the unknown a little bit maybe as well, that they they know it they've heard these stories, they don't know what's true, what's not true. Having a bit of mystique and mystery is probably good. Man's tamed pretty much everything in the world. White sharks are one of the last things they haven't managed to tame keeping a zoo. It'd be good to have a good mystery out there still. Everything that you learned about white sharks, what I'd read in books, what I'd seen on the TV, what I'd heard people say, I just realized how much they didn't know.